Hi, everybody. My name's Arjun, and today I'm going to present my project called Perfect Prompt. Before we get into that, I want to introduce a little bit more about myself. I'm a data scientist with experience in unstructured data. I was uh, formerly working at a company called Appin and another company called Spico, which I worked on building a speaking coach for people, kind of like Duolingo is for learning a new language or Grammarly is for fixing your errors when you're typing. Spico was meant to be an application to help improve your public speaking skills. Um, I then moved to industry working at a company called Appin and I was laid off promptly after working there. And I had a lot of time to myself. And I realized that there are a lot of really interesting, crazy things that are happening in the space of natural language processing. We have a lot of foundational models now that can be fine-tuned, or we can use transfer learning to do a lot of interesting downstream tasks on. And I wanted to learn more about those things. So I started learning about transformers, and I came across a really weird problem that I, came, that I learned about. And that problem was related to image generation. I was learning more about image generation, how people create prompts and stuff. And I realized that the current free ways to do it were very annoying and very time consuming. So on my presentation here, I have the Hugging Face radio free demo of using stable diffusion. And it takes about 43 seconds for you to generate four images given a certain prompt. And to me, that felt really hard. That user journey felt very uncomfortable because you would have to create a prompt, you would wait 43 seconds for that prompt to come back. You would think about what you want to change with that prompt, and then you would repeat that whole cycle over and over again. So to me, this felt very time consuming. There are options to make this processing faster, but then you have to spend a lot of money in order to host the model yourself or do something along those lines. So that felt very expensive and frustrating to me. So I wanted to see if I could build a product that could resolve this issue to shorten this user journey of creating prompts and images. And once I did that, I built something called Perfect Prompt with Cohere APIs. It's meant to be a one-stop shop for prompt engineering and image generation. And today I wanna to show you all how to use it and what we can actually do with it. So I have the tiny URL here if you wanna work independently, but I thought it'd be really fun for us to come up with the image together with these few categories in mind. So in the chat, if people have any suggestions for what we should generate, I'll show you how Perfect Prompt works in order to create suggestions for you in order to get better at that image that you're working on. So the categories that we have right now are architecture, cottage core, steampunk, cyberpunk, laps, landscapes, and watercolors. And Perfect Prompt will try to match your prompt to one of these categories and then provide suggestions for you to improve that prompt. So here's what the web app looks like. If anyone has a suggestion for a prompt, feel free to type it in the chat or tell me. Otherwise, I have a prepared prompt we can mess around with. Oh, beautiful, Robin. Thank you. That one looks amazing. Brutalist, <laughs> kindergarten, uh, kindergarten playground. So we'll hit shift enter and the model will start running. This will take some time. And what it's doing is it's embedding and trying to classify this prompt into one of the six art styles that I presented before. Once it figures out what art style is actually happening, it will seed that keyword into a Cohere Generate API along with a phrase that says, hey, take this prompt and rephrase it with more detail. And it'll generate 10 different suggestions for you to use. So once this stops running, we'll have a bunch of different suggestions for us to have inspiration on in order to create our next prompt. Not only that, I found an open source implementation of Stable Diffusion. Okay, so this is, this is our little image that came up. It's really weird looking. It does remind me of the days I spent staring at Brutalist architecture. And let's see what suggestions came up here. So we go down here and we have our cache and we see some really weird stuff. Thank you, Robin, for your suggestion. We see light at the end of the dark or at the end of the tunnel, which kind of reminds me of concrete. Uh, we see some other keywords that are important, something hidden, HD, 8K, intricate, elegant, abstract. All of these are really interesting because when someone tries using an image generation model for the first time, they're not going to think of phrasing their prompt this way, but the generate API allows you to think about how to phrase your prompt in a certain way in order to get it to generate the images that you want. Uh, I'm getting close to the end of time here, but the idea is that you can send back another prompt and make more images as you need. And yeah, so thanks for listening to my demonstration. If you have any questions, let's hear about it. I'd love to talk about how my product works.